there's several unique things about this project. One of them that's really neat are the stone columns that we've added. I think there's about 20, 20 24 of them. And most of them have, uh, are going to have sculpture panels on them. Very unique, very beautiful uh, sculpture panels that'll have, uh, some of them are abstract, but some of them are more realistic that have images of animals and plants. And I think folks are really gonna enjoy that. And those columns as well, a lot of them have fossils in the stone, which is something we didn't anticipate. We've also added things like the exercise uh, area that's underneath the Cunningham Bridge right next to Kids Kingdom Playground. And it's, it was placed there, one, because it's under the bridge. You can use it pretty much any time of the year. We're gonna have lights under the bridge, but it's also next to the playground. So if you wanna let your kids play in the playground and you go exercise the, the, the equipment, you know, it'd be good, good opportunity for that. The lighting systems that were added in the 80s, most of those have failed. So as part of this project, we're adding new lights, basically in the core area from about First Street all the way down to Oak Street is where all the new lighting will be. They're aesthetically really nice. They, they really complement the river trail. But in addition to that, I really like the, the lighting that's going on on the bridges. Uh, so all of that will be LED lighting. Uh, it, it, it will change colors. It'll uh, go with themes, you know, during different seasons or during the Pops concert or whatever. And so it can be programmed to do that. And so I think it's going to add a really neat element to San Angelo, not only for us who live here and get to enjoy it and experience it all the time, but those people who are just driving through town. And you happen to come driving through at night, and when you hit that downtown river area with the, the lighting and, and the, the color lighting, it's just really going to add a neat element to downtown. Uh, also, as part of the project, we've added some, some ramps that can be used for access for maintenance and also for the public as well to bring a canoe or a kayak in and launch. The last few years, me and my family have gone kayaking, and you know, it's a great activity. It's a fun family activity. Uh, you don't have to be extremely talented or a boater to do it. Uh, the kids think it's great. So I think it's going to be a neat amenity to encourage even more activity on the river. Because, you know, as you look at it, you can look at that downtown area. Uh, you can look at the area down where the kayak launch will be as well. And there's other boat ramps where you could put in. But there's some great sections to just uh, go up and down and spend a Sunday afternoon, uh, enjoying the afternoon. And the great part about it, you're on the river. You can get into the shade. You know, you don't have to be out in the sun the whole time. And so I think it's going to be a neat uh, added feature that, that the citizens will enjoy. You know, where else in West Texas do you get that opportunity? There's not a lot of places. Uh, so this will be kind of a neat added amenity. We've added some interesting art, uh, working with art in uncommon places and other artists. Uh, basically all along the trail, there's lots of different features, art features, mosaics, uh, the vehicles that were mosaic are part of this, the river project. It's, you know, they have, we have a thousand people that have worked on each one of these cars, so they're community produced art. And uh, we have generous, generous people. I love being in this town because of it, but they've all contributed tile or time or space. I think the artwork is, is something that I, I give the community credit for doing that, and, and Art in Uncommon Places has been great in working with that. And San Angelo was fortunate enough to get a, a, a NEA grant, National Endowment on the Arts grant, which is the first one I think we've gotten. And they're closely watching what's going on here because they were excited about, about what San Angelo was doing. So, so you see those art features going in along the river. And they're all unique. I think that particular component is going to grow over the years go, as the years come along. Uh, because it started and, and there's a, a local uh, desire to put that there. And it, and it really makes, you'll see the ones, you've probably seen them as you walk along the river now. Just to have those elements here and there as you're going along just makes it that much more interesting and, and more to look at. It is very priceless to be able to see that work out there. And also that the students that we've taught for 20 years uh, can go by, especially with Artistic San Angelo, because it has all the great artists in the piece. And we hope that they can identify from what we've taught them who these people are. And anytime you view art, um, the serotonin within you is, uh, is lifted and you have a joy that you feel. So we hope everybody gets to experience that. And that is our, you know, our big, our big wish. So we're 
we're thrilled that this could happen. So as part of one of the grants, the Texas Parks and Wildlife Grant, uh, we had to bring in some education. So we add some interpretive panels underneath Oak Street that talk about the early settlement of San Angelo, talk about the fort, talk about the crossing that used to be there near Oak Street, connecting the fort to the city. And it also talks about, you know, the kind of animals and uh, things, plants you'd see along the river corridor. You know, the, the fountains that they have redone, in my opinion, people are going to be really impressed with it. If you haven't seen them, and most of those are up and running. And the big thing was they, they took where we used to have much smaller individual pumps trying to pump out of the river to, to flow those fountains. You just never got a, a ton of water flow through them. We've put in a large pumping station now that actually supplies uh, water for all of those water features and actually has the capacity to do additional ones in the future if, if, we choose, if the city chooses to but uh, it also filters the water before it pumps it through. So it, it tries to provide water that's got less sediment in it and those kind of things. But it also flows enough water through there to where it keeps those clean and keeps them really flowing. Uh, yes, the Parks Department is still gonna have to do maintenance because there's trash that gets in there to do those kind of things and, and keep moss and those kind of things out of it. But it flows enough to where when you see it hitting the river, when it's coming off of there, you'll see a churning and, and bubbles and so forth coming out, which does a tremendous job with helping with the water quality. Uh, we've talked over the years and we've had various things that we've done to try and aerate the water over the years to help with water quality. But the fountains that we put in right now are, are really going to help with that. You know, that games court area I think is going to be a really neat feature to try and reestablish some of the things that a lot of us saw down there years ago, whether it was Neff's or whether it was the putt-putt course, um, to really try and draw that activity back down there as a fun area to go to. We've added some specialty areas, uh, like the Games Court area, which is by Irving Street, where the old putt-putt golf course used to be. That includes a uh, bocce ball court, washer pits. Uh, it's gonna have a chess playing area. It's gonna have a tether ball. Um, it's gonna also be a location where We'll have other recreation activities and concessions where folks can um, check out paddle boats and use those along the river or check out kayaks. Um, eventually, outside of the project, we want to refurbish the putt-putt golf course. There's a sewer line in the back that, that has to get replaced before we can do that. But we intend to bring back a concession building of some sort where folks can come check out recreational activities, get a drink, get some food. And then we also want to add the infrastructure for like a food court area which seems to have a lot of support from what we can tell. The goal is to have an area that, that people can come and enjoy. It doesn't cost anything um, you know, the, to enjoy those games areas. So the thought with the food court area is basically borrowed from Austin. They call, I think they call them food carts. And it's very successful in Austin, and we think we can kind of add that to our uh, games court area. I mean, the theme of the games court area is, is all about recreation. So if we provide the the uh, the food trailers, the food carts. It might keep folks down there a little bit longer, uh, give them a reason to stay a little bit longer downtown. This project will be as when it was built in the 80s. You know, you, you started with a concept, but that concept continues to grow and expand. Um, we've been working with the Fine Arts Museum concerning the cultural district, which involves all of this region as well. And so as we look at how that cultural district develops and, and things that happen within it, it all involves the river because the river happens to set in the middle of downtown in the middle of, of these areas. So I think it will constantly evolve. And what we're trying to do is set the groundwork and the base work for all of those things to happen easily from here. It also, as you look at public-private partnerships, uh, such as developing the Neffs area and trying to bring in businesses in that area that would actually front the river uh, as businesses see what the city has invested and, and what's happening down there, it just makes it that much more exciting for them uh, and makes them willing to look at that area as an investment uh, for them to do business in. It's turned out to be the most fun I've, I've had on any job and the, the ability to really impact a city rarely comes along for an architect. And yet this is one of those projects that I think can do great things to help bring people both downtown and to the river. And downtown and the river really are becoming of one cloth. Uh, 